on Friday, I feel accomplished. Like, I do. Like, when we had our show, Charlie, from 12 to 2, like, it was kind of, br- this is more of a job. You're getting up <laughs> early. You're doing your thing. You know, it, it's, it's, it's more important. It's three hours. That extra hour is a long time. So when Friday comes around, I feel accomplished. Wait, cut it. It seems like you're sort of insinuating that when it was just you and Charlie, it, it was breezy and fun. And now it sitting was in here with another person as part of it, it's not as much fun. It's be funny honest. how fun. Be honest. Well, look, we're a family here, so we're going to have to we're going to have to have the tough conversation. That's true. True. And we're doing it right now. It's funny how a person can say something and two people take it the exact different way because Cat took it as the previous show was easy and fun. I took it as the previous show was unimportant because he said this show was more important. Thank you. Well, what is? It is, but that also was kind of important. No, definitely, really? kind of, definitely, kind of. But when you're the morning drive host, sure. yeah, it's kind of like, like this. This studio suddenly, suddenly transforms into that main area on the USS Enterprise. I was thinking the same thing, right? Yep. So, like, like Cam is sort of William Shatner here. Yeah. I would say Charlie is uh, more like Ohura. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you say that on radio? Maybe back in college, isn't it? <laughs> is that the good looking? Is she African American? Yeah. Okay. That's who you are. See, here's the deal. You're an old. If you go Star Trek with me, you got to go Next Generation. Yeah, that was that was go, garbage. That was you have garbage. to go Levar Burton. That was garbage. You, you have to the go big forehead. Will Wheaton. No, she was the good looking black woman back in the day. Is Hora Lieutenant Ohora. I so think. you got to go with me. It's a bad last Who's name. the Klingon in the Next Generation? I didn't watch that. That's the only one I saw. I don't know any of it. I was lying when I knew when he said uh, about the Enterprise, and I'm like, yeah, I feel I like lied. I'm, I'm Scotty, like the, it, the angry old Irish guy. He's trying. He's it just goes over our head. Some of the stuff I just don't know. The music, I'm trying. I'm trying. I think you're Sulu, and uh, I would say you're Chekhov, and this is like lost on all the youngs, which is ridiculous no, because Sulu. the first you know who William Shatner is. Yes, right? supposed to be an ass. By the way, people don't like him. Why do you say that? I, I Seems thought, a little anti-Semitic. I saw, Seems a little well, anti-Semitic. Am well, I wrong it up, to take look it, it down? Look it up. They hated William Shatner. They all hated him on the set of Star Trek. A little, little anti-Semitic? They hated him. I don't know if I'd go anti-Semitic. He's had a long... Nate, am I wrong? He's a Jew? I didn't know that. Illustrious uh, career. I'm, I'm still trying to get over the fact that, um, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure, I suppose. And as you guys vacated 12 to 2, you know... Somebody on this show happened to take that slot, but you know it's all right. Just trash the time. God, okay. so bury now myself. there's three people who have taken it in different ways. I'm just well. You're working all day. Yeah. I wasn't doing what you're doing. You're here. You, you're doing. You're up here. <laughs> when I'm here in the morning, you're getting up early. Then you got to wait around. Then you got. So you're way more important than I ever was. And right. Charlie. Yeah. But now I feel like thank God it's Friday. It's like Friday. <laughs> Good. I can sleep in tomorrow. Like I feel accomplished. Okay. Uh. I will say, and this is honest. I've never felt any differently on radio in a different time slot whatsoever. Now, do we all know morning drive, PM drive? Okay, are those the building blocks of radio? Sure. It's when the we bridge were on, of the USS Enterprise is what it is. USS Enterprise. When we were on in the midday, by the way, I drive the most during the lunch hour. So I'm hearing Nate more than anybody. And I think a lot of people are cruising around in their cars during that, especially 12 to 1, but 12 to Absolutely. 2. Absolutely. No, yeah. Going so to I'm listening to Nate as much as anybody these days. And by the way, Nate and Losey are going to be at Top Shooters. Is, when does that start? Is that starting today? Uh, that starts next Friday. Next Friday. I like that Reed Low. Yeah. yeah. He's okay. I used to work with him. He's a good dude. Great guy. He's a great guy. He's hilarious. You got to get the dump on him. I wonder if he ready. even would remember me. It's been so long I work with he re- him. He'll remember you. He's a good dude. So can I give you my take on the, the show? Because... I, I'm an old, and maybe I'm wrong, okay? So the show that you guys are on now is the USS Enterprise, right? Because let's face it, this ship is the USS 590, the fan, right? So the bridge, which is like kind of the most important room at the USS Enterprise, is heading where direction we're going to go with, how we're going to tackle whatever combatants come our way, right? The... 12 to 2 slot that you guys came from are kind of like that room in your house that you don't know what to do with. You know what I mean? Like In the west wing of the house? So we have, like, I'm not trying to brag, but we have a couple of guest bedrooms. Yeah. Wow. And one of them. Yeah. Couple? And one of them 
is it used to be one of the cat's rooms where she would stay in there for Aww. the most part. And then it became sort of the Zoom room, like where I put a backdrop up there of an American flag and a, and a baseball yeah, bat. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you got that that ring light or whatever it is, you know, that goes Lava in there. lamp. So it's sort of like a storage room, cat room, Zoom room, because we don't know what to do with it. So, Nate, you're in that room now. And, yeah. and good for you. It feel good. Am I there's wrong? Cat, Am there's I wrong? kitty litter everywhere, too, by the way. Little, that's, that's no, little, little, just, little crumbs saying. of it, yeah. You... You took your little precious kitten and locked her in a room. No, and then you did your Zoom calls, and the poor cat's like, "Help me! Can I? Can I enjoy the rest of the no, family?" No, the door too? was never closed. She could come and go, but that's oh. like where she went to be alone. And I've done many Zooms, uh, especially during the pandemic. That it, when that's all we we're doing, where I'd be talking to a Cardinal player, and uh, here comes the cats are now both gone. They oh. lived to nineteen and twenty. Oh man, oh, I love that's a long that. time. I love hearing that. And uh. But uh, I forget who it was, but the cat came and sat on my lap in one of them. And then the dog came in when it was a puppy during one of them. That's what happened to me last night. Here's how I took this, though. <laughs> the cat is so rich. Not only does he, he sues all of his neighbors, but he has so many <laughs> he has so many unused rooms in the house. Oh, a couple of guest bedrooms. Uh, we made a room for the cat. We also have the, the Zoom room. room. I have four to six bedrooms. I don't even know what to do with them. I have so many bedrooms. <laughs> oh, feel bad for them, guys. You I also get, have you know, built-in bookshelves in my living it. room. We get it. You're very rich, okay? <laughs> mm. Jeez. You have built-ins? Anyone here have built-ins? No, not yet. Kate's we do working not. on that. You got to admit, they're a nice feature if they're done well. I would, I would use that for sure. If you ever watch HGTV, when the couple that's looking at a nice house that they can't afford, they always talk about, well, I... I like the uh, the high ceilings, and we do a lot of entertaining, so I like the open floor plan. But look at these built-ins. Oh, or they go like this. That's like a, that's a, that makes the deal. They're like, okay, we want an ocean view. We want tall ceilings. We want five be- uh, bedrooms. We want da-da-da-da. Oh, what do you do? I'm a substitute teacher. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, you're not finding that, okay? You're not finding that. And you want to spend like 300 grand. Hey, here's another thing on HGTV. I don't want to watch people buy... Three hundred thousand dollar, two hundred thousand dollar houses. Nothing wrong with that. I want them to buy big monster houses with huge yards and stuff. Like that. That's more intriguing than more me. fun. Yeah, it's like but wow, except, good job. Except you have to understand in your in your world where little people don't exist. Yeah, yeah. Um, a three hundred thousand dollar house could be a pipe dream to them. So I, I, I know I get that, and that's good for them. But they're trying to entertain the viewer, which is me, and that's not entertaining in my opinion. So I want, you're saying the poor can't be viewers? They. They can be viewers, but I think the poor folk, like myself, because I grew up poor, looking at people the same as me. You want people re- shooting for yes, the stars. Shoot for Put the stars. Hold on. Shooting for the stars. Hold on. Did you grow up poor? No. Because if your not parents are all. listening, look, not show them some respect. No, no, no. But you did not grow up poor. They gave you every opportunity uh, in life. 100%. But I will tell you this right now. When push came to shove, this when we were getting terrible. a little bit older, when I was getting expensive, my mom and dad didn't have any. We were struggling. It gets paycheck to paycheck. And times are tough. And whenever, I'll tell you this right now, if I ever have kids, the last thing you want to ever want to hear is your mom and dad yelling at each other about money. And that money is directly correlated to you. And you going to Michigan every damn weekend and getting kicked out of a damn tournament and it costs two grand and you have to come all the way home. And now you're, like, that That was that was tough for a while. But, like, there's no poor. I shouldn't say that by any means. Because, you know, we see all these guys yeah, coming right? out and, like, yeah, hey. We're, but we're still House Spring, came out of House Springs and stuff like that. Had a great upbringing, but it got <coughs> tough. It did get tough. May I say? They are listening. This is my opinion. I think every couple argues about money, and it doesn't matter. It's a spectrum, but it doesn't matter how much money you have. Couples, you parents are always going to be arguing about money, and it's usually about the kids. It's usually about the kids. Kids are freaking expensive, whether it's hockey, yep. school, private school, sports, clothes, Food, whatever it is, you're absolutely. I think right. that's just part of the equation. Yeah, but when my, my wife complains about it, it's, it's it's me. We don't have kids, and it's not the cat. Okay, but you're kind of a kid. I am kind of a child of the household. She looks at the bill. She's like, oh, it's been a lot when of money. You, when you started making money, what did you do like to pay your parents back for for footing the bill? Oh, they they it? had they were in limited. I think I cut them a check. <clears throat> yeah. How much? I don't know, twenty grand probably. That's very personal. You said here, like you didn't say, Dad. Here's your Lambo. What? The- <laughs> but they just need stuff done to the house. Like, they just were just fi- piling up. You think that all they yeah. put into your professional career was twenty k? 
Not at all. No. Listen, my mom and dad live the most lovely blue collar life you could possibly. They're sitting right now in their their living room, warm as can be, because I got in this badass fireplace. Tucky's laying on my mom right now. They're Who's probably Tucky? Get, the Dougie. They're probably getting their minds right. They're <laughs> chilling. They're laughing at me talking, or they're pissed at Sound me. Sound like Tucky get might be the pool boy. Tucky, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Tucky's uh, the uh, the pit bull. Okay, that scares people when they walk by. So don't 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 go in their house. <laughs> but uh, but no, they chill. They got to watch me play, dude. They lived a good life. Okay, don't get me wrong. But it was tough for a while. I mean, it was it wasn't, wasn't easy for them. You know, right. I'm just sensing it. there might be. And Seth, back me up on this because that's the next thing I want to get into. Apparently, there's an alliance. But twenty grand. Now he was just saying times are tight. I'm in Michigan. They're paying for all this, and then he makes a big contract. I mean, he's a professional athlete, and he's like, twenty eh, k ought to cover it." it was, I think it might be. I only got. Fi- I, I, I think got it might be some fifty grand. I think it might be uh, not paying him back enough. I would agree with that. Oh, Good Scott, for you. Good, great, he great answer. Bonus. Scott, great answer. I'm guessing for you, you got Seth. you got your agent. You got taxes. Yep. You're not getting it all at once. I'm partying hard. Partying. That's yeah. also very important. No, here, no. Here, it's not important. It was. It but is. It, Let's it, be real. Oh, I'm sniffing when you're around. 18, Come Full on. of piss and vinegar, and I got a little bit of money, and you want to show off? Damn right, I'm going out. Didn't need mentality back then. Not at all. And here's another thing that costs money, and that's why Lou signed me right off the bat, because they, they knew that you need to have money to be able to work out, because working out and being healthy costs money. Ice time costs money, although you get free ice here, you da 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 But, like, going and training every day, going to Finney's, doing this, like, it all costs money. Eating healthy costs money, so that's why, that's why they signed you off the bat, so you can get ahead of the game when it comes to working out. Oh, so you immediately went out and bought like vegetables and protein? No, right? no, no. I went to Joe McCarty's. You went to the bar. Yeah, you know, Bowflex. Uh, you got uh, Bowflex. Uh, Bowflex. Eight minute ads. I, dude, I'd go to Rick Wilson right there off of a power play gym, a little studio with the buys, and he'd kick our ass, and we'd we have to pay him. Did like, you purchase Tybo VHS tape? Yes. Fill no, blanks. I did do Ab Ripper X. It's called Ab Rip PX90. No, P90X is yeah. what it's called. It's a little DVD you put in like yoink, and this guy is really bizarre. But he does these workouts for you. You don't need any weights. You just do it in your basement, and you get chiseled. And it works. But you got to starve yourself. Let me ask you this, because this is a real question. Yeah. And I should just ask instead of saying, so it's not. can I help you? Yeah. But, like, strength is something you need. Like, a lot of these workouts, I wonder, like, in terms of being a professional athlete and building strength, are they good enough for that? Or do you need to lift heavy weights to build your strength? I build... What I would, it's all, it's all. Because you don't want show muscles, you want working muscles. But Jimmy, I gotta, I gotta fight that. I gotta grapple. I gotta have my arm strength, my shoulders, my chest strong so I can grab these guys. And right. Six, six, I gotta be strong as hell. Right. Now, now, what you do in the beginning of the summer is you do heavy weights. You do, you get you strong. And then you start cutting down. Then you start doing cardio. Then you start doing explosive stuff and just like agile stuff where you're doing one legged hops, all one legged stuff when it comes to, uh, you know, late to J- July to August leading into training camp. It's all just like core and stuff like that, speed burst. But at the beginning, I'm putting muscle on, baby. I'm going to Lake of the Ozarks. I want to look jacked. <laughs> no, it's not about looking That's jacked right. at You're Lake right. of the Ozarks. That's right. you got to be strong on the ice. That's right. All right. You're right. My bad. So if I can turn the uh, attention to something else. Yesterday, we had like a little text chain going, which for the most part, if you're in a group text, at some point, it will probably destroy your career because someone will will send it to somebody that wasn't intended. And even if you don't say anything bad, even if you ignore 90 percent, you don't even participate your name is on there. Sure. Oh, yeah. So you have to be careful. So we have a work chain where we go over, you know, usually it's Charlie complaining that I said something on the air or wasn't clear with one of my hot takes. Mm-hmm. And, and it's valuable feedback. Thank you. But apparently, what do you have an alliance with Seth to counter yeah, I mean, Cam and I? I just have, think. Have fun with that one. I think for the show, if we had an alliance where it's Seth and I versus Cam and Kat, and I feel like that kind of falls I think I would fall into that anyway. And then Nate, on a daily basis, he can be the swing vote. If he wants to pile on us, if he wants to pile on you guys, and that can be fluid based on that day's performance, takes, so on and so forth. I'll be honest. I like this partnership. Don't get me wrong. I value every member. But I kind of feel like with my big mouth Mm. and Cam's physical physical abilities, we're a good team. I think you're right. I like hanging out with guys with big mouths. I'm telling you right now. 
I, I team up with them, and we're going to probably own both of y'all. No. Can you explain what you mean by that? I have no idea what I meant by <laughs> yeah, that. Please. I have no idea what I meant by that. Didn't mean to say that, but I, I meant to say it was Jimmy Seth, has a loud Seth, voice. I just want you to know. See, we're arguing now. But we're Seth, arguing just, one just uh, one Seth just stepped on you. That's good. Seth just stepped on you. I'm off my and name. he's all proud. He's you proud. know he's texting mom. Hey, mom, did you, did hear, you hear that one? I made a good one. Oh, they, I got him. Here's the deal. <laughs> I look at this as we have a physical bully and a verbal bully. Okay, that's Cam and Cam. And Nate. Who Cam and I Nate. Touched. And then what then we have, bully? You're just your 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 profession as a hockey enforcer. You were a physical bully. Cat is a verbal bully. Yeah. And then okay. Seth and I we're going to outwit you. On a daily basis, I don't for know. three consecutive hours. I don't know. Who, and usually, to outwit someone, you have to have someone really, really smart running point. Who's that going to be? Or are you going to hire someone from outside? Both of us. His name's Seth, right there. Seth has tape. We bet you. And we verify. This guy follows sports. He's got the trivia. He does. He he might know more about sports than all of us, honestly. Especially oh, I'll give him that. More recent, more recent. He knows more about hockey than me. I know. He's I know. If that's the case. If that's generation. the case, and you believe that, and you want to say it publicly, we will go toe to toe in one of these things. Okay. I was just studying sports instead of English all these years. See. Where did you go? What uh, what fake college did you go to yeah. again? <laughs> Lindenwood. Lindenwood. No, he played football. School. It's good. Not at Lindenwood, though. I but actually... some, sometime you did. You played that's, there. Okay, yeah. I see Charlie. You you there. Hold on. You're reaching Hold on. for the you. stars. No, there, dude. you just got stepped You played with your buddy. You do not lie to people. You pass the ball around. You do not lie to build an alliance. I actually thought. Thanksgiving we did. Hold on. I actually thought he did play at Lindenwood. But he played, even if it was a uh, touch with, with no, the family. It's count. still football. No, where no, did you play football? Mr. Coach Clamp. It's tied 1-1. Where Where did you play football? I played at Westminster. See? Fulton. Small Division three. D3. What position did you play? Cornerback. Is that an all boys school? Defensive back. Mm-mm. Um, it mm. used to be an all boys school, and then William Woods used to be an all girls school. 